Hey, Web3 TV friends, my name is Ronella Hernandez, and today I'm at the Ripple Swell Conference in Dubai. Joining me here, we have Irene, who is from She Knows DeFi. How are you? Thanks for having me. Um, it's an amazing event. Thanks. <laughs> what do you think so far about the Ripple Swell event? Um, it's I could connect with so many people from all over the world and we had some inspirational speakers so I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah. What did you hear? What did you learn today? So I met Amanda Wick and she's the founder of the initiative um, Crypto for Women and uh, it was nice to be exchanged with her because I'm also in that space so it's nice to, for networking. Okay, so what does that mean that you're in the space of Crypto for Women? What do you do? So I have an initiative, it's called She Knows DeFi, and I want to democratize um, crypto education and make it accessible for women um, of all ages and for all demographics. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about how that works. So the idea is that um, you can learn about crypto in simple terms, so the entry barrier is very low and um, yeah, that's my vision to bring more women into the DeFi space and make them leaders in the space. So are these courses that yeah. someone can sign up for online? How, like, what's the process like? Yeah, so you can follow me on TikTok or you can, yes, um, go and see the courses online at She Knows DeFi Net and yeah. And this is open to everyone or just, okay, or just women? <laughs> And so why do you want to focus on women specifically? So as a technology consultant, I noticed that uh, women are often left out in the blockchain realm. And so I wanted to change that. And this is how I came up with the initiative. Why do you think that is that women might feel left out in this space? Um, <laughs> that's a very good question. I think there are lots of answers, but um, I, I think we need leaders like Amanda, for example, who are a role model, so um, women um, get inspired and can follow. Okay, so there's not enough role models. You want to inspire more people to have maybe more leadership roles in the industry? Okay, okay. And so tell me, how did you get into the industry in the first place? How did you hear about and learn about blockchain? So I am also with Ernst & Young EY as a technology consultant, and we had several projects in the blockchain realm, and so I got into it too. <laughs> And so how long ago was that? Um, it started like two years ago, but last year I really kicked it off and uh, tried to, to, de to develop myself in that space. And what do you think is going to maybe happen in the future of the market or of the industry? Like, what would you want to happen? How would you like to see the future of blockchain progress? So I would like to see it to become more inclusive, not only for women, but um, for all demographics and um, to be accessible. Because I think right now um, the space is growing, like you can see today, here are a lot of people from all kinds of ways. But um, yeah, I would really like to spread it and be more open. Well, thank you so much for your time, Irene. Thank you. <laughs>